So the next part of the fundamentals in setting up to the putting stroke is to make sure that we grip the golf club correctly. Now we can actually go ahead and change the grip slightly from the grip that you might have had before for your full swing. The grip that you had before with either the interlinking, the overlapping Varden grip or the baseball grip can promote quite a lot of wrist hinge. Now that's quite an important part of generating power for a full speed swing. But contrary to that when we're putting, we don't actually want any wrist hinge at all. We'd like to keep the wrist as solid as possible. Having too much of a wristy takeaway and, and stroke when you're putting promotes an inaccuracy in terms of distance control but also direction as the club swings violently from left to right. You don't really feel like you've got enough control over the club head. So, you can take your left hand at the top in the normal position, but maybe a little bit lower down, and take your right hand underneath that as well. But this time I'd like you to unlink the fingers at the back. If they were linked together before, you can actually unlink them from that position. And then take the bottom index finger and place it pointing a little bit more down the shaft, pointing towards the golf ball. And then take the left index finger as well, unpeel that one, and actually point that over the fingernails of the bottom hand. So both of those four fingers point down the shaft. Now they can actually work like little splints, little braces, to hold the golf club into the hands with the fingers down there should allow you to feel if that's happening a little bit more and therefore it's much easier to stop the wrist break that you might have had in your putting stroke in the past. So, left hand goes on, right hand goes on, unlink the fingers and point the four fingers down towards the golf ball down the shaft. From that position, as you're rocking your shoulders, you should feel if your hands are breaking in any way, we want it to come straight back and straight through, as if those fingers are splinting the club in towards the hands. So a good putting stroke is very much orientated around the shoulders, and there's very little hand action in that stroke. You should also notice that the body weight isn't going to move left and right like a normal stroke here. It stays pretty much 50-50 between the right foot and the left foot, but also 50-50 between the front of the feet and the back of the feet. The hips are staying still, the head's staying still, and the putting stroke just rocks from a good shoulder position. Now if you've got a sunny day like we have today, you could actually take a look at your shadow on the ground, make a few putts in front of your shadow, and see whether your shadow is moving around. So as we look at my shadow now, I can set myself up in a good position, grip down, rock the putter, and check that everything's staying nice and solid. I don't have any of this wobbling around happening with my shadow at all. Everything's very solid, straight back and straight through. That means I'm going to have a good consistent stroke in terms of getting the line right, but also getting the pace correct as well.